it all started with his parish, St. John Mary Vianney, Parish Church of Antipolo. When my friend Alex Alcantara gave me a call to give a talk to his fellow lay ministers. It's about the Mass, because not a lot of people truly understand it. Filipinos, they say, are sacramentalized. We often receive the Holy Eucharist, but we are not evangelized. We do not understand what we are receiving. And so, that was my first talk, and it was very well received in Antipolo. When our president of the Philly, Mike Plana, heard about this, he suggested that we publish my talk into a book. And the Philly, an organization of former Dominicans, will sponsor it. And so during the feast day of St. Dominic in Santo Domingo Church on August 8, 2019, we launched the book at Cafe Ingo with Father Junsi Palay, OP, the Provincial of the Dominican Province, as our guest speaker. My fellow Philly members, the Sons of St. Dominic, were there to support me. My second talk took place at the Santa Maria della Strada, the parish of Fry Mike, our president. For the first time, there was a book signing and my talk was very well received. Here is a picture of the participants of Della Estrada Parish who attended the seminar. My third talk took place in Alaminos, Pangasinan, when Fry Ping Lopez, a fellow Philly, invited us to do a seminar there. And so we paid a courtesy call to the then Bishop of Alaminos, Bishop Ricardo Bacay, and we gave him a statue of St. Dominic hand curved from Paete. And so we did a seminar there about the meaning of the Mass Explained, did a book signing, and distributed books, Bibles, and rosaries. My fourth talk took place in Pangasinan. Earlier in the year, we paid a visit to the Archbishop of Lingayen, Archbishop Sok Villegas. He was second year high school student when I was the regent of high school in Letran. He invited us for lunch in the Arzobispado. Our contact person in Manawag is Father Alan Lopez, the parish priest of Our Lady of Manawag. Earlier, he expressed his dream of building a garden chapel in Barangay Pugaro, Manawag. The Philly, under Fry Mike Plana, volunteered to build the chapel. And so last December 14, it was finished and blessed by Bishop Fidelis Lyon. After the blessing, we proceeded to Manawag Church where we met Father Allen. The seminar room was jam-packed. Father Allen warmed up the audience by telling them to sing and dance. Then it was my turn to give the presentation. Here is what Father Allen has to say. Muli po pala pa rin natin si Fry Jigs Vigo Flores. Nagbigay sa atin talagang uh, kabusog po, Fry. Uh, matagal na akong pari, pero iba po yung presentation nyo tungkol sa Eucharist. Ako po yung nanduro on o daw yung nakikinig. Ako yung natutuwa sapagkat nakabideo, pwede ba akong bingin ng video dyan. No? Sapagkat uh, napakaganda po lang yung sharing. Uh, very orderly, very Dominican. <laughs> Very orderly, napagaganda po, napag, uh, malinaw na malinaw. At uh, marami po ako natutunan, no? Ang yung mga halimbawang uh, binigay sa araw na ito ay tamang-tama po, lalo na sa mga kapatid nating like ko. Uh, sa pangangailangan ngayon, priority ng simbahan, hindi lang sa manawag, ay tinatawag natin evangelization. You know, very well na lagi sinasabi, we are sacramentalized. Tanggap tayo ng tanggap ng sakramento, pero we are not evangelized. Hindi natin nauunawaan kung ano yung ating tinatanggap. Pero sa nangyari sa hapon na ito, kami po ay lumalim ang pangunawa. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Diyos. After that, Father Alan gave me the certificate of appreciation, had some book signing by a very appreciative audience. I'm scheduled to appear this February 2 
in the radio TV show of Father Bell in Salitang Buhay. Very soon, perhaps in the middle of this year, we will start our radio program of the Catholic Mass Explained in Radio Manawag with my good friend, Fry Henry Aspera. Here then is the six-part series of the Catholic Mass Explained. May we deepen our understanding of the Mass, which is the source and summit of our Christian life. 